Hey everyone, how's it going? So I'm still getting a lot of really good requests for some different scenes from the new Godzilla vs. Kong movie, and I'm trying to do as many of them as I can. But sometimes these videos take a little bit longer to draw on color, so I can't always make them as fast as you guys want them. But keep sending me your ideas, and I'll try to get as many drawn as I can. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla shooting their atomic blasts at each other. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now, to start off with this, we're going to begin by drawing Mechagodzilla, and we're going to put Mechagodzilla up here. Now, I won't be able to do every single little tiny detail, but I'm just going to kind of focus on some of the main ones first. So, right here, I'm going to begin by making a little line that's just going to go down, and then it's going to come back like this. Next, we're going to make a little circle shape here. Or a little oval shape and a little line that goes back and then comes up here. Next I'm going to make a little line that goes across. We're going to make a little line that goes up. Then it's going to come all the way back. We'll make a little line that goes down. It's going to go over and then back like this. Make a little line that goes down and then over. Another one that goes down and then over here. Starting right here, we're going to make a line that goes over. It's going to come down and then in just a bit. Make a little rectangle shape here for one of those teeth. A little space and then another little rectangle shape right there. Then I'm going to draw a little line down. We'll make another little line that goes down, over, and that's going to come up. Make a little line that goes down, and then over, and it's going to come up and go over. Make a little line that comes down, it's going to go over, it's going to go up and over like this. Then right here we're going to make a little line that goes down, it's going to go straight down and come back. The little skinny rectangle shape up here. We'll make a little line that goes down and then up. Make some little lines go down like this. We'll make a little triangle shape right here, a little point at the bottom. We'll make a little line down, kind of show where that kind of part of the jaw is. Right here we're going to make a little kind of rectangular shape. A little line that goes over. We'll put a little skinny rectangle in here. A little line, another small rectangle. Another line, and then another taller rectangle for more of those teeth. Then we'll do another little rectangle shape here. A little line that goes over and up, and another one that goes over and up. A little line that goes over and then down, or down and over. Make a little line here that goes down, and it's going to come over. Now, starting right here, I'm going to make a line that goes over. It's going to come down and then back like this. Make another one that goes over, it's going to come down and then back. Another one that goes out an angle, down and then back. Right here I'm going to make a little line that goes down and it's going to come down like this. Next I'm going to make a little line that just goes over and down, over and down, and then over and down. Make a little line that goes over down here, and a long line that goes over and down. Next, we'll make a line that goes up, over, and it's going to come down here for a spike. Then I'm going to make a little line that comes straight over here and one here. We'll put another one that goes up, over, and then down.
right here, I'm gonna make a little line that goes over or down, over and up, kind of like a rectangle shape. Make a line that goes down and over. I'll make another one that goes down, over and up here. Make a little line that goes out, and the one that goes over and up. Right here, I'm gonna make a line that goes down. It's gonna go over and come up. I'm gonna make a little line that goes over, and I'm gonna add a couple little kind of circular shapes in there, kind of form part of the arm. Make a line that goes down. It's gonna go over and then up. Make another line that goes over and down here. And then one more. Next, I'm going to make a line that goes down, and then it's going to come back at an angle. Then up here, we're going to make a line that goes over and up, and then another one over and up for some more spikes. Next, right here, we're going to make a line that goes down. It's going to go down and then come back up. I'm going to make a line that goes down and connects to here. I'll make another one that goes out. It's going to go down and then come back and up. So I'm going to go up and then back. A little curved line in here. Make a line that goes over, down, and back. A little line that goes over and back. Make a line that goes over, down, and back. And another one that goes over, back. And we'll make another little line that goes down and over. Make another one that goes down, over, and up. We'll go down, down farther than up, and then we'll just add a little, a couple extra lines on here. We're gonna add a little line or two coming down here, with a few little lines coming down here as well, just show some details. Make a little line that goes down and then curves back, down and then curves back. Make a little end point on some of these too. We'll make a couple little rectangular shapes on here for some extra detail. Then up here on the face, I'm just gonna add a few more details. I'm gonna make a little line that goes over here, a little line that goes down and over, a couple little extra lines on here. And we can just add a few little extra lines. There's no right or wrong way to do this. There are just so many little details on here. So we're just going to add a few little lines. I'm also going to add a couple little extra lines inside of here. Now, Mechagodzilla, when he's shooting his uh, big atomic beam at Godzilla, he's up a little bit higher. So I'm going to put Godzilla down here, kind of like he's looking up at him. So I'm going to begin down here with Godzilla, and I'm going to begin with the face. So I'm going to start by drawing. We're going to kind of line this up. I want their eyes to be kind of lined up. So I'm going to begin by making a little line that's just going to go down, and then it's going to come back like this. We'll make a little line that goes down and then up. Next, I'm going to make a little line that's going to go up. It's going to come back and then it's going to come back with like a point. Then I'll make another one here, and I'll make another one right there. Now I'm going to extend this line back, and I'm going to kind of curve it back, and we'll add a couple little lines here. We'll add a little line or two underneath there. Starting here, I'm going to make lines going to go out. It's going to come down. We're going to draw this line, it's going to go, be kind of wavy, and it's going to come down to here. Then I'm going to draw this line down, like this. We'll add a little curved line in here. Next, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down, it's going to come up, and it's going to angle around here. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down, and it's going to curve up, 
And I'm just going to kind of repeat this a few more times to show some kind of texture on Godzilla. Right here, I'm just going to add a little curved line for the nose. A little long line or two right there. Next, right inside here, I'm going to add some teeth on Godzilla and a few more at the bottom, too. We'll add a couple of quick little lines in here. Then I'm just going to add a couple more little lines coming down. And then right about here, I'm just going to add a little curved line to kind of show where his arm would start. And the little, little line's going to go down and then all the way down to the end of our paper. Next, I'm just going to draw a little line back here. A little curved line up here. Got a couple little broken lines right around his mouth. A little line right here by his chin. I want to make some long broken lines here. And some little lines are just going to go down and then kind of curve around. I'm going to add just a couple little broken lines around here for some detail. And a couple little lines around here with a few little extra quick lines. A few little broken lines around here. A couple little lines just for some extra details. A couple little plates there. Then up here I'm just going to add some broken lines and just a few kind of broken curved lines for some scales. And then just a few extra lines here. Now I'm going to add a couple spikes on here. I'm just going to make some pointy lines. I'll put about three points here and then we'll make them a little bit taller up here. Won't be able to fit many in there. And then you just kind of come in here and add a few extra lines wherever you want to just for some little details. There's always a lot of details you can put on Godzilla. So now here is our drawing of our Mechagodzilla shooting his atomic blast at Godzilla. Now the last step is to just kind of add the blast in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start right here in Godzilla. And I'm just going to make a quick little line that comes out to here and then out to here. And then I'm going to do the same thing with Mechagodzilla. It's going to be more of a straight line where Godzilla's kind of came out. And this one's going to just kind of be a little bit of a straighter line here. Then Godzilla's is going to be kind of a little bit fiery looking over here. And then when they come together, it's just going to be kind of like this really big explosion here. So I'm just going to make kind of like a big kind of just pointy explosion right there where they meet. And there you go, there is your drawing of Godzilla shooting his atomic blast at Mechagodzilla while he is doing the same thing. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.